Guilty Gear Strive Bedman Beginner's Guide, including tips, tricks, and more. Gonna help you pick up Bedman from the start and help you get better, understand what he's doing, what his moves are doing, get out there and kick some butt. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. So though this is a beginner's guide, as we start off here, I'm gonna assume you're not a toddler and you've at least messed around with the moves, his specials, and you at least have a small perspective on what he's really doing. I don't need to explain to you what like slash is, right? Okay, so let's start off with the biggest tips and tricks here, including his specials and his error 6E state. To put it simply for you, you got three special moves. You got down forward square, down forward triangle, down forward circle, or punch slash, heavy slash. Now after those three special moves, you perform one about three seconds later or so, another automatic automatic follow-up attack is going to come out and that automatic follow-up attack is different and has different properties depending on what the last special move you used was so you see here we're going to use down forward punch and we have here a projectile you see we're glowing blue three seconds bop we have another projectile that came out automatically i didn't push a thing quick side note you can do that in the air and your 6c comes out in the air as well now your down forward slash is that beyblade spin move air 6e there's an automatic follow-up attack. As you saw, it was different than the projectile one that came out earlier. So the first big tip I have for you is first, you need to remember, if you're playing better, you're gonna actually go main him. You need to remember, even during your combos, what the last special move you used was to understand, okay, I used, you know, down forward slash, well, that was my latest move, so now I know what's kind of loaded in my error 60 and what's coming out here soon. And then decide how can I use that in my next pressure, in my next combo. Now with that being said, you have two extra special moves here. We got down back square, down back X. Now what these do is they actually delay your automatic follow-up attack from error 60 or put it out even faster. So that way your opponent has to keep guessing, oh, they're gonna delay it, I don't know when it's coming out, or they threw it out sooner than I thought it was gonna come out. So this is a way to kinda keep your opponent on their toes and keep them guessing of when the automatic 6E move is gonna be coming out. So for reference here, I'll show you, we put a projectile, we're in 6E, I don't want it to come out yet, I'm gonna delay it. I'm gonna delay it again, now I'll put it out. So you can really decide the pace of the match in a way by deciding when am I gonna throw these extra special moves out there. Now a quick tip on era 60 state is you actually lose the state if you do a wall break. So meaning if we're in a combo, we wall break and we're in era 60 state, when that wall break happens, we go into the new map, we don't have error anymore. We're, we, we're just, we're back to normal. So to show you here, they're on the wall, we're at error 6E. We're gonna go here, you're gonna see here, we're no longer in that state. We don't have our extra move now. Another tip for error 6E is you also lose it if you get hit. So you can't bank on it if you throw it out there, you're in error 6E, then your opponent starts to combo you. You can't bank on it, kind of getting you out of that combo, it just goes away. Again, you can do the error 6C follow-up attacks in the air. So for our down forward heavy slash, you can't do that move in the air, but you can do the follow-up attack in the air. Speaking of the down forward heavy slash move, you can throw it out there, you can also delay it. If you delay it all the way, it does almost double damage. Plus, if you hold it down, look how high they go, allowing you for a follow-up attack. Though Bedman is definitely a heavier character, he's got a lot of fun mix-up. The first one here is your down heavy slash, which is a multiple hit low attack to really mix it up for your opponent. So here's how it looks first. Multiple hits, look at that, love that. But you see if they're blocking like this, and you see that, oh, what do I do? They're just blocking all my moves. This hits them, because it's a low attack. So if you see your opponent blocking low a lot, you do have a great overhead. It's kind of slow at the start, but your forward heavy slash here, he takes his big old hand and smacks them down, and that is an overhead. So you see here, they're blocking low, we can't get a hit in, well bop. Now we can, and it's a setup too, so you can do a lot of moves after that, like so. So another thing to keep in mind is Bedman's overdrives. You have the half circle, forward, triangle, and circle. Also known as the 13C and the 4CC. So you see the 13C here, this move powers up Bedman and the follow-up attacks from error 60 state, and they will cause area shifts if hit in the corner. So think about it kind of like Kai's Dragon Assault, just makes you more of a powerhouse of a character. So for an example, I'll show you our follow-up attack error 60 from our heavy slash move does 58 damage by itself. Now, if we're gonna be in the overdrive state here, we will do the move and I'll show you the difference here. So we're gonna miss this move, but the follow-up attack here 128 damage just damage alone along with a higher pop-up already worth it so we'll show you the beyblade follow attack while we're in this kind of overdrive state and it causes the wall shift and the wall break there oh beautiful Mwah. 
So if you want that overdrive, it's going to give you that edge in a fight and maybe give you that possible comeback. That overdrive is going to be your pick. Now, his other overdrive, the 4CC, is similar to a lot of other fighters' uh, overdrive attacks here. This move is invincibility as the attack comes out, making it work well for interrupting your opponent's offense. So if you're getting pressured a lot, you have the time to do the input. It's got invincibility and it's going to interrupt them. And it does 167 damage by itself. And you can also do at their moves. If you want to throw in the overhead and then do it, you got a good combo. Or even hit him with the low first. Then go for it. Another tip for you as well, Bedman doesn't necessarily have a double jump, but he has an eight-way dash, which not every character has. So you can dash up to have the double jump, or you can dash diagonally up, or dash forward, diagonally down, back, down, back, down, down. He's a heavy, but he's pretty mobile. I also love Bedman's run. It's like, now a big reason why I know you guys came here is the combo, so let's get into those. Let me know what you think of Bedman down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Click into this video next, and as always, take it one step at a time.